What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today, I wanna mix it up and do it a little bit different. So, I recently got this, let me pull this up here. I got this bow and arrow. It's a virtual bow and arrow set from Wonderfitter. And I thought it'd be cool to actually do a video on this because I thought this was a pretty dope product, but also how would I motion capture with it using the Rococo Smart Gloves along with the Rococo Coil. Now, I noticed some of you guys in the comments have been actually commenting on my past videos because I keep the Rococo coil right behind me there in my shot. A lot of people say like, what is that? The Rococo coil is actually used for precise finger tracking. So it works with the Rococo gloves. Even if you only use the gloves, you can get really precise finger tracking with that. And so with the bow and arrow set, I figured what better way to test out the Rococo coil than to use a bow and arrow set here. And so this one is actually the art mist by wonder fitter they actually did send this out to me so when i say virtual arch reset this one actually hooks up through your tablet so it could work with an ios device like your phone or your ipad or it could work through android i opted to use my android tablet just because whenever i use my ipad for some reason well not for some reason but the resolution isn't 16 by 9 right so whenever i had it hooked up to my tv or my monitor it actually gave me like really bad crop marks at the top and bottom and the sides because it couldn't fill up the entire screen so i opted to use my loom pad 2 which isn't 16 by 9 i think it's 16 by 10 but it gave me a more fuller experience when i had it up on my monitor and I mean, this thing, it was pretty simple to hook up. Like you can see, this has a couple of pieces on here. You have your bow right here. You have your arrow right here. And then you have the string on back and everything just hooks up with one screw in the back here. Then everything else here on the tip comes pretty easily together. Just strapping that down right there. But the assembly on it was pretty simple to set up. It comes with this little dongle here. And so you hook up the dongle with the USB and the HDMI, and that will allow it to actually speak to your device. Again, I'm using an Android tablet here, and it makes it so it can screencast it right to the monitor. So as long as your device has an HDMI port on it, you should be able to use this. So I think it has up to around seven games as of right now, as I was trying it out, but you could do like target practice, you can see right here, this one right here, it's actually similar to Duck Hunt. If I have any NES fans out there that had the original Duck Hunt with the zapper gun, this is exactly like Duck Hunt. It even has the dog and everything in there as you shoot the ducks down and it pulls it up there from in the grass. But this is giving me like it's not 100 like using a real bow and arrow set but you know for what it is it's actually working pretty fluently so as i have it calibrated to the monitor i'm not even sure how this works because i have my android tablet down there to the lower left but somehow once i had it calibrated it was actually pretty spot on when i'm pointing it at my monitor and of course it has the crosshairs up there as well and so that really helps with aiming as well maybe it's an illusion thing but i felt like when i was looking right down through the bow and arrow i was able to actually pull back release and it would just actually hit instantly so just having a couple of different type of applications on here that I could practice with I felt like this was going to give me some really good data whenever I go to do some motion capture because it's not me just going pulling back and letting go like I'm actually having a target to aim at and as I'm pulling back you know you got your grip strength and the finger tension and everything in there I'm trying to hold it as good as I can I'm not a professional archery person but you know as i'm pulling it back i'm feeling pretty good when i have the tension in between my fingers there and i can feel it once i put my rococo gloves on that i'm actually going to get that precise finger tracking in there and also for the motion capture i felt like with this right here when i'm pulling it back you can feel the tension a lot i know it has about 10 pounds of tension on here so it actually feels pretty authentic whenever i'm pulling it back like this as you can see getting a lot of tension in there and so when you pull it back and release like that it's not going to give you 100 percent accuracy like how it will work with a roll bow and arrow but it still feels pretty good especially with the tension as i'm pulling back that's what i'm most concerned about when i'm doing motion capture because i want to make the body weight and the body movement feel as authentic as possible so now that we have a good idea about the bow and arrow and how it works and how it works with this device and everything, let's take it to the next step, which will be the motion capture with the Rococo gloves. So for this video, I'm actually only going to use the gloves with the coil because I'm not sure if a lot of people know this out there, but the Rococo coil is actually used more specifically with the gloves. So it doesn't work with the suit at all. Basically what you're going to get is this is going to talk to the Rococo coil and that's how we get the more accurate finger position data whenever we're doing 
doing a motion capture so the cool thing is you could use it even without a suit like if you just wanted the finger positioning data you can actually use just the gloves with the rococo coil and don't worry i'll do another video here maybe in another couple of weeks once i get back from vacation but i wanted to put the rococo coil through its paces before i gave an honest and fair review but for this video i thought it'd be cool just to do some finger tracking with the bow and arrow so I'm going to select the game here. Let's see. Let's try this one out here. And so I'm going to try a couple of these games here just to see what kind of data I could get. But the whole point of me using the game along with the bow and arrow set is so that I could get the most precise data as possible. So as I alluded to before, I want to have some targets to aim at and I want to get that good tension on the pull string as I'm pulling it back. So I think for the most precise data, you probably want to do an archery range, right? So we do have that application here. So on the last one, I actually did it full fisted and pulled it all the way back, which that's not the correct way you want to shoot a bow and arrow. You want to do it with the two fingers there. So I'm going to do it that way with this one. But also I want to exaggerate the movement more, right? Because when you're doing motion capture, sometimes it's not about just getting the precise data. You want to exaggerate it a little bit more because that comes across a lot more fuller and a lot more animated whenever you're doing animation and CG. So I'm going to pull the string back, get as much tension as I can. And when I release, exaggerate it just like that. And we just want to see what kind of data we can pull in whenever we do it this way. Okay, so I'm inside the timeline right now. And let's see, I'm going to put this on follow the actor. So let's pull through and actually see what kind of data we got. So I'm going to pull in here a little bit closer to the fingers, somewhere around there. So this is where the drawstring would be because yeah, I'm using my right hand there. So let's pull this through and see. So yeah, that's when I was doing it full fingered, which it's not bad, right? Like I know my fingers are not the straightest to begin with. So that could be my fingers there. But from what I'm seeing, let me actually pull around to this side. So this is where I'd actually be holding the trunk of it. And that looks pretty good. Like the fingers are touching together. So let's see right there. We're not touching together, but they're pretty dang close in there. So I would say all in all, we're getting some good positional data there with the fingers. So even right there, pull and release. So yeah, I think that looks good. Let's look at the second one because that's the one where I was actually doing the archery. And that's the one where I was actually doing the, um, the two finger hold, right? So let's pull this over here like this. And I exaggerated the shot more. So I think that looks good. Let me pull this back hit play so you can see i'm aiming so there you go so yeah there we go that's um i'm thinking that's looking pretty good there and even the exaggeration on that one i feel like looks a lot better so we're just going to look at this from the side here i'm just letting this play through in real time down here in the timeline but you can see me two finger prong hold holding the trunk up there and release so i would say all in all i think that looks pretty good I think I'm going to do another video where I'm going to put it all together with the entire suit. But for this one, I just really want to focus on the finger positioning data that I was getting out of it. Because again, the Rococo coil, that's mainly what it's used for getting the finger position and the hand position data there. So that's going to do it. You know, Rococo coil along with the bow and arrow set. I thought that I got pretty good data. I mean, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thanks for staying to the end. If you did stay to the end, give me a big what up, what up. I know this is a little bit different. It's kind of like a product review, but not right because I'm using this along with this type of stuff that I do. So I want to induce more like items into the motion capture because I feel like that's what it's used for, right? So, you know, like holding weapons and swords, things of that nature. I I think that's where you're going to get some of the coolest stuff rather than just walking around and waving and doing little finger movements like we've seen everybody do that so i'm going to incorporate more of this type of stuff into capture motion capture data so if you're down with that make sure you hit the subscribe button leave me a comment down below let me know what you think with this type of video that i'm making and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next video where i might see you on the archery field <laughs> oh that was corny Thank you.